Andre Rublev versus Hubik Hercatch is the second semi-final at the Miami Open for 2021. And both players have had a different road to make it to the semi-finals. The number four seed Rublev started his week off with a bye in the first round. In his second round match, he took on Tennis Sangren, destroying him in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2. His third round match was against Martin Fucevic, a man that he'd played many times in the previous month. Again, it was a demolition job, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-1. In the fourth round, he took on former US Open champion Marin Cilic, and again, an impressive display, winning in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In his quarterfinal, he took on young gun Sebastian Corda, and after a tight first set, he had to fight to get through the second to eventually win in straight sets, 7-5, 7-6. Hercatch arrived to the Miami Open as the 26th seed and had a bye in the first round. His second round match was against Kudler, the American, getting through in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4. In his third round match, he took on the number six seed, Denis Shapovalov, but he flipped the script this week, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 7-6. In his fourth round, he took on another Canadian, the 12th seed, Milos Raonic. And after losing the first set, had to fight to win in tight three-setter, 4-6, 6-3, 7-6. His quarterfinal match was his best comeback to date against the number two seed, Stefano Pass. After going down badly in the first set and a break in the second, her catch came back to prevail in three, 2-6, 6-3, 6-4. In Rublev's quarterfinal against Korda, he hit 15 winners and 13 unforced errors, including five aces, but only converted three out of seven break points. We'll need to improve on that against Hercatch. Hercatch in his quarterfinal against City Pass hit 41 winners and only 35 errors, with 15 of those winners being aces. And he converted three out of eight break points, and he will have to also convert better against Rublev. These two have only played the one time previous back in Rome in 2020. Hercatch getting the win, so Hercatch has the confidence against Rublev. But Rublev is the only semi-finalist yet to lose a set this week, and he is primed to win his first Masters 1000 title after winning a bunch of ATP 500s. This is a tough semi-final to pick because Hercatch has showed some great form this week, but I'm going to go with Rublev in this one just based on his consistency over the last 12 months, and especially at this tournament, yet to drop a set and he seems to like playing against big servers. So I'm going to go with Rublev in this one. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this semifinal? 